it's important to understand what is forgiveness anyway? Like, why do we forgive? Yes, all of our spiritual teachings say forgive, but are we doing it just because some guru told us to or we read some book that said we should? Or there was some prayer or some meme or some share that we saw on social media that made it look like forgiveness was a good thing? Someone we follow online was talking about forgiveness, so we think, oh, I should forgive? If it's just that, it's not going to go very deep. Until you recognize that whether it's the Guru, whether it's a scripture, whether it's a book, whether it's some influencer you follow online, until and unless you realize the importance of forgiveness in your life, you'll only go through the motions. You may say, I forgive you, but inside, it'll still kind of fester. And this is where we have to understand that forgiveness is the key to our spiritual freedom. There is, there is nothing that holds us back from the outside more than our inability to let go on the inside. When someone has hurt us, whether one time or a hundred times, when we hold on to it, we bring that hurt into the present moment. Whenever they hurt us, it was some time in the past, whether it was five minutes ago five hours ago or 50 years ago. It was in the past. Because if I'm thinking about forgiveness, I'm already beyond whenever it was that that hurt happened. But what I've done if I'm still angry is I'm bringing the past into the present. I'm bringing that hurt into the present moment. I'm the one who's carried it in, not them. They did what they did in the past. I have carried that past into the present moment. It's like, jaha jaha me jati un apne briefcase leke jau. Like in briefcase me hai kya? All of my anger. Taki, I should never be free of it wherever I go. Make sure, have that briefcase so God forbid I might be sitting on the banks of Ganga or watching a sunset or in a beautiful moment. I've always got my trusty briefcase I can open to remind me of why I'm really angry, why I'm in pain, why I'm upset. But at some point we grow tired of that. At some point we realize travel is much nicer without this briefcase of grievances, whether it's in my hand or in my mind. And so we forgive because we deserve to be free. We forgive because we deserve to be free. So no matter how many times somebody has hurt you, no matter how badly they have hurt you, you deserve to be free. We ask the wrong questions. We ask, do they deserve to be forgiven? That is the wrong question. That question has no merit. The question, of course, could be, do they deserve to be freed of the karmic fruits of it? But that's not in our hands anyway. That's purely a philosophical question. We don't have the power anyway to change someone else's karmic package. Even if we forgive them fully, they're still going to get their karmic dues. That's the law of nature. So we are not the ones who determine whether they deserve some kind of get out of jail free card for what they've done. We don't have that card. We couldn't give it to them even if we wanted to. The question for us is not do they deserve to be forgiven. But do we 
deserve to be free. And that is the only question that matters. And so you forgive as quickly as you can, as fully as you can, because you deserve to be free. So no matter what someone has done, how many times they've done it, you forgive. Because that anger and that grudge is what is standing between you and freedom.